having your own Vegas show, it's 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 far more. It sounds more glamorous than it than it really is. It's basically me and my my puppet family doing doing the show in Vegas. But we had a few, you know, we had some production values, yeah. which you which you can't do when you're touring. When you're yeah. doing one nighters, you know, you got to get in and get out quite quickly. Whereas with, with with Vegas, you can you can do more of a show. So that was nice. But I mean, the reality of living in Vegas is quite a different thing. You know, I'm from Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Southwest 19, and then suddenly you're living in the desert yeah. for six months. That was quite a shock really and it, I have to be honest it's been an amazing experience but I, I love being home <laughs> yeah and is there a difference between the audiences that you would yeah. play to yeah yeah hugely actually and having worked um, performing for American audiences not just on America's Got Talent um, but doing cruise ships on and off for years in front of large American audiences I thought I knew an American audience and I could work them but I'll be totally honest it took me about two months to get the basics and to, to, to get the hang of a Vegas audience. Why, why, why is because the Vegas audience so I, different? I, I don't know. I think it's because you have some of the people that came to see the show were fans of AGT and so had seen me on the TV. And I think half the audience weren't. I think half the audience had, uh, were, were out in Vegas, had got tickets for a show. Yeah, yeah, they're truly international, aren't they? Though? Truly international yeah. and also quite drunk. <laughs> and, and you know, you just uh, people come in in a bad mood. They're drunk. They've just lost all what their money. What shows this roulette. we're going to? Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, we're going to see this guy? puppet show. You know, yeah. Yeah. and so um, you, you're, you've got quite a cross section of an audience, and it yeah. was a real eye opener. And I spent the first two months on Skype with my writers uh, at home, going, "This isn't working. How can we make this work?" Stuff that had worked everywhere else wasn't working. Yeah, it was scary. Yeah. I got the hang of it, but I'd say it well, took me a couple of months. It better work for your autumn tour. All <laughs> Mouth, the UK 2017 autumn tour uh, starts Saturday week, 9th yes. of September, yes. in Wimborne. Yes. And you've got a new character to introduce. Now, talk yes. us through this this character that we've got, because here we see you working so, and developing on this. Yes, so this is an idea I've had in my head for a long time. So you draw a sketch, and then I send it to my puppet designer, who then has a sketch and does a better sketch than me, yes. and does some, some nice, nice drawings and then he makes a, uh, a, a clay mold and then he makes a cast of the clay mold and then it's made of fiberglass and then that's kind of the the end of it uh, until you see him in the flesh and here he is in the flesh it's Simon it's Carl. Simon. I knew you were gonna say that <laughs> someone Simon. else said that the other day he's um he's who are you oh, I'm CIA FBI oh, oh so oh, so yes. so you are secret agent secret agent and my name is O Oh, what? Nothing. Let me take your glasses off here so that we can uh, see that he's not Simon Cowell. Oh, he's a <laughs> yeah. bit menacing. But Sylvester Stallone may be there, maybe as... Uh, I encounter intelligence. Yes. Yes, I track people down and get them to talk. And, what? And... That's kind of like what I do. What? Well, I, I make things talk. I, I'm a ventriloquist. What? I'm a ventriloquist. Ventril... Ventriloquist. Yeah, I make things talk. Yeah, you wouldn't get me to talk. <laughs> no, no, I'm trained. Oh, really? Well, I'm trained too. Go on then. What? Get me to talk. Uh, well, I just did. When? Just then. Do it again. I, I just did it again. And say nothing. You just did. What? You, you, you talked. What? The hell is going on here? Yeah, <laughs> but getting him, getting him to talk is difficult because he's one now of how many characters you would have on that show? So I have, um, I have, uh, I don't trust them. What? <laughs> what do you mean? No, I don't die there. Why, why, why not? They got earpieces. Oh, you got earpieces as well. So <laughs> yeah. they're agents. No, they're not agents. They're television presenters. <laughs> They've Actually, got agents. Actually, could we get security? <laughs> security to the studio, uh, please. Security to the studio. Uh, this is O. Uh, that's right. Uh, we got uh, agents here into the... the this is weird. Uh, so, yes, yeah, sorry, your question was... <laughs> the effect on you, all those different characters... Yes, in my head. The, voice the voices. Getting a new voice, does that put a big strain on your throat? Well, funny enough, Sam's voice, who's the Muppety Kid character I do, he, he speaks like this, and then, and then you've got Albert, who's kind of down here, the baby's kind of squeaky, you saw them earlier on. He's got a very deep voice and I thought that's the only kind of voice that would suit him. And yes. American. And American, yeah, so that, you know, if I go back to America and do some gigs there, I've got a character that kind of crosses over. Um, and, uh, Is he, he a he's, good secret agent? He's, um, Does he catch his man? Well, he's, he's um, the thing is, um, I don't know how to say this, but he, he, he doesn't know he's, he's, he's oh, a yes. Oh, yes, I got you, I got you. It makes it difficult. He and thinks he's done all these yes. things and he hasn't done anything. And listen, and you're going to be doing other things as well. Yes. London Palladium, come Christmas time, pantomime. Back at the Palladium. Dick Whittington. Yes, we have Nigel Havers, yeah. my good friend. Oh, we love we've Nigel. Got Gary Do Wilmot, Julian Clary. Oh, great uh, cast. It's going to be Elaine Page. It's going to be amazing. And but do you, do you ever remember, I mean, you're no stranger to pantos, but do you ever remember playing Buttons in Cinderella? Yes, last year. Uh, no, where? <laughs> at the Palladium. Where? <laughs> Stevenage, what year? 
Oh, 97? 1997. This lady here is Fran. Well, okay. 1998, it was. Okay. 98. Well, Fran, her, it's her job to get facts right. She oh. works in our production team, right? <laughs> she works in our bad. production team. And uh, Fran, before she went into teleproduction, used to be what, Fran? I, I was a dancer in Panto when yeah. I was 15 Lovely. in Cinderella. So. Lovely. In that Panto? In yes. that Panto, yeah. And <laughs> how, the day. how much of a sensation was Mr Paul before he even won America's Got Talent? He was quite a hit with us backstage. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all had a bit of a crush. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but Awkward. <laughs> You've just made Paul Zerdin blush. What, <laughs> what is this you think of? Pantomime. <laughs> oh, I, I can't even begin to explain to an American what pantomime is. <laughs> Well, it's lovely to see you again after yeah, all this time. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> lovely. She lovely. came down specially to oh, say hello. Oh, that's lovely.